In today's video lecture, we are going to cover electrochemistry and we're going to look at a voltaic cell where I'm going to give you two examples and then an electrolytic cell where we're going to copper plate a quarter. If you're just given the two metals, zinc and copper, you have to be able to draw a complete picture of a voltaic cell. So we start with our two beakers. In one beaker, we put a piece of zinc. And it doesn't matter which side. And in the other beaker, we put a strip of copper. We connect the two with a wire that generally is con connected to something which can show electricity is flowing. And the one missing piece is a salt bridge. A salt bridge contains a salt and it bridges the two solutions and it contains positive and negative ions from the salt. Each beaker is filled with a solution of a salt of the metal. So in the left beaker, Zn2+, and the right beaker, Cu2+. And that pretty much uh, completes the cell, each half cell. Uh, now the most important thing is table J. Nothing can be done without table J. So if you can get out table J, we look for the two metals, and the one that is higher up is the more reactive, and that's the one that's oxidized. And as soon as you know which one is oxidized, everything falls into place. So zinc is higher up. That's oxidation. Oxidation has an A. Anode starts with A. Anode has an N. Negative starts with N. So the other electrode is the cathode. And the cathode is the positive electrode. <clears throat> Electrons always flow, A to C, anode to cathode. So the electrons will flow through the wire from the zinc to the copper electrode. Ions from the salt bridge will flow into each beaker. Anions go to the anode. Cations go to the cathode. And that pretty much is the cell. We just now need to write our half reactions. For oxidation, you have Zn and Zn plus 2. So what's an oxidation half reaction? Oxidation means the charge goes up. So Zn will go into Zn plus 2. Oil by losing two electrons. On the reduction side, you have copper and copper plus 2. So which one is going to be reduced? This is trickier. It's not the copper metal that gets reduced. It's the Cu2 plus ions. The Cu2 plus ions, rig, reduction, gains two electrons and turns into copper. So the mass of the zinc is going down and the mass of the copper is going up. We can also write a net ionic equation, which is the sum of the two half reactions. As long as electrons cancel out, so two electrons on the right cancel out two electrons on the left, we add together the left sides, so Zn plus Cu plus 2, Arrow, Zn2 plus plus Cu.
that is it. So now what I want you to do is you're going to pause the video and draw a cell, a voltaic cell for aluminum and calcium. While you're drawing it, I'm going to draw it. And then when you come back, uh, I should have it completely drawn. So pause the video. So here's the picture of the aluminum and calcium uh, voltaic cell. Anions go to the anode. Cations go to the cathode. Since calcium is higher up, it is the anode. And anode is oxidation. The oxidation half reaction. Calcium will turn into calcium 2 plus, plus 2 electrons. And the reduction, Al3 plus. will gain three electrons to turn into Al. We have to make sure we gain and lose the same number of electrons. So three Cas plus Al2, Al3 pluses, arrow, three Ca2 pluses plus two Als. So that takes care of a voltaic cell where a chemical reaction produces electricity and now we're going to look at the opposite an electrolytic cell where we use electricity to produce a chemical reaction This time we only use one beaker. We will put a metal in, like silver, and a coin, like a quarter. We put it into a solution of the metal, so silver ions. And we then will recognize an electrolytic cell because it will have some kind of a power source, usually a battery. The battery will attach, the negative end of the battery will attach to the thing you're plating, and the positive end of the battery will attach to the uh, piece of metal. The thing you have to realize that makes the electrolytic cell harder is that the sign changes of the anode and cathode. In an electrolytic cell, the cathode is the negative electrode. It's the end that's attached to the negative side of the battery. So the anode is the positive end of the battery. Once you get that down, everything else is the same. Reduction occurs at the cathode. Well, what's reduced? The positive ions in solution get attracted to the negative electrons on the quarter, and the silver ions gain the electron and get reduced to silver metal. On the anode side, which is losing electrons, which is oxidation, the silver will turn into silver plus ions by losing an electron. So silver ions go into solution, and then the silver ions get reduced on the quarter. So the mass of the quarter will increase, and the mass of the silver metal will decrease. Electrons still flow, anode to cathode. In fact, the battery is considered to be an electron pump that pulls electrons off of the silver metal and places them onto the quarter. 
so that pretty much covers uh, an electrolytic cell in terms of electroplating. They can ask you about um, the electrolysis of water, the electrolysis of a salt, but it pretty much follows the same pattern. So that's it for today. We're going to have a quiz tomorrow where you're going to have to draw, or on Thursday, where you're going to have to draw an electrochemical cell and maybe answer some questions on an electrolytic cell. So make sure uh, you understand what's going on, and we'll talk to you uh, soon. Bye.